Hi, gorgeous. Olga is here. My name is Olga Bocherever. I'm certified EFT, fast EFT practitioner. It's been a while since I made a video, so I'm very excited to jump in and make this, this new video at my new place. Hope you like my unicorn thing. I think it's very fun. And so today I want to explore a topic that, that came um, as a part of my creative recovery process. And if you guys haven't heard about this book, uh, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's Artist Way by Julia Cameron. And I'm on week two, recovering a sense of uh, identity. And we talk about having crazy makers in our lives. And whether or not you're going through this book, I want you to, to pay attention and to stay with me because I think every single person has this poisonous playmate and crazy maker in their life. And this is the question is, how do you deal with this? And you probably want to ask, well, who are you to, to have an expertise to talk about this? And, um, you know, I have a lot of, of respect and appreciation for, for my ex-husband, but I've learned a lot about what it is mean to be a crazy maker from him. Okay, he's a really good dad, but he struggles and he's trying to figure things out. And a lot of the things that, um, you know, Julia Cameron talks about in the book fitted him so well and I was like, how did she know? So I want to talk to you about, about this a little bit. And whether you are dealing with your recovering journey, just healing inner journey, and you're starting to see limiting beliefs and things that were not obvious for you before becoming apparent, and people around you starting noticing this change, and they're like, you look different. You're being selfish. And so, so those two words, if you're different, if you're selfish, if you hear those, those are your red flags probably are dealing with a crazy maker. And here's the truth, guys. People who are not recovered, people who are not conscious to your to, to their either creative recovery or just recovery as a person, as, as a part of our personal growth, they will push back and they will do their best for you to go back to your old self because that's safe for them, right? That's comfortable for them. And you changing... Uh, really just feels like a lot of threats, a lot of danger. And I remember going through this process because at some point I just started being very, very conscious of some of the patterns that I'm replaying, I'm redoing. And my ex has been being so threatened and so uncomfortable by this growth of mine that I was going through. Now, evolution is natural and normal. And, and, and you will come across people who are less or more aligned in your life. And it's totally normal. And there's one thing that Robert Smith said that I absolutely adore. He said, people will come into your life and they will leave. People will come into your life and they will leave. And it's kind of like a sad truth because right now I have amazing people in my life. I never want them to leave. But it's a dynamic of life, right? You learn and grow and, and, and you, you get aligned with some people more than others. And it's very, very normal. People are not yours to keep, he also said. But I want to talk about people who are maybe good not to keep around and, and they are so-called crazy makers and so how do you know they have a crazy maker on and this is the definition or criteria that Julia Cameron goes by and I want to challenge you to see if you find a person like this in your life right now so those are the people who are expert blamers they they know how to blame they um, will use the right words they manipulate well they expect special treatment, like the exceptions are for them, but not for everybody else. They they will ask for things. They they will have mysterious alignment of things going on. Number three, crazy makers discount your reality, and and they just kind of live a little bit on a, in a world that are uh, kind of a little bit delusional. Have you ever came across someone who done that? Raise my hand, and so. Another thing is crazy maker will spend your time and money and they don't have a lot of respect for it. So watch out for, for these kind of scenarios. Triang tri crazy maker triangulate those they deal with. Now what that means is they will start manipulating people in their life to kind of turning them a little bit against each other and creating all the drama. Crazy makers like spread blamers. I think we covered that one. Crazy makers create dramas and sell them where they belong. Have you ever been in touch with someone who would um, just create a lot of unnecessary trauma and drama and, and just so many things that are just, you really don't have to have them. But it's part of the reality. That's how they operate best. This high addiction to drama is unfortunately what where they thrive, right? And finally, crazy makers 
paid schedules, except you're, they're all on, right? So have you ever across someone who just doesn't have respect to your schedule? When you ask them for things directly or indirectly, it just doesn't have to work somehow. Crazy makers hate orders. And finally, crazy makers deny that they are crazy makers. I thought it was just a, such a great list. Now, so what I wanted to address and what I wanted to talk to you about, guys, is how to deal with this. Because I've been in this situation for 10 something years and about two or three years into a relationship, I started getting very clear that this is not what I want. It was very uncomfortable. A lot of things were, were very obvious for me. And so how do you deal with this? Or how do you deal with change? How do you deal with the fact that you either need to have difficult conversations with people in your life or sometimes you need to let them go? And, you know, this is something that Robert Smith talks a lot about. And he talks about looking within and making some changes. And another thing I want you to look at and just kind of get awareness around is where did I learn this behavior, right? Because most of the behaviors are learned. And so in my case, I, I married someone who is a lot like my dad. And my dad is a good person and things are really, really different between us right now. But there's so many similar characteristics that, you know, I, I see between my dad and my ex-husband. And it's very, very often that we do marry a parent that we need to make peace with. And this is how we create a bit of this drama. And as we're going through life and we're becoming more awareness, so what do you do? So EFT or faster EFT is a great process to deal with this. And one question I wanted to ask yourself, how do you know? How do you know it bothers you? And as you start tapping on yourself, you start releasing some of those triggers and dramas, your relationship transform naturally. So, so right now I'm in a relationship with someone that I absolutely adore. He's a wonderful man. He's deep. He's caring. He's generous. He's very, very kind, very wise. I, I turn to him when I need some of the emotional comfort and, and some understanding. We tap together a lot. But I haven't gotten there by incident, by accident. So it, was, it was a very direct, very um, deliberate work or deliberate path that I took. And one of them was addressing crazy makers and releasing people like that in your life. And so whether you have a friend, a boss, a parent, a spouse, it's good to get consciousness around this. And, and here's the truth. I mean, you cannot divorce a parent, right? But you can create a very, very healthy boundaries. I know people in past years don't like what boundaries. But nevertheless, you can let them when you're in the inside world or not, right? And so what we'll do right now, we'll do a little tapping around this. But um, if, if you are considering this work and if this is something that's really on your mind, you have a crazy maker on your life and you want to resolve this and you want to improve the quality of your life, um, what I would recommend is work on the memories. Memories are affirmations. Memories is how you build your reality. And in Fast Free FTV, we have this beautiful protocol on how to go into memory and how to change it. Because what happens is as you defractionate, and as you release this, your internal map changes. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm doing this project right now. It's called Diamond Painting. I don't know if you've ever seen Diamond Painting. It's gorgeous. I'll make sure to show it to you in the next video. But it's this Canva. And uh, similar to painting by color, you paint by a little different type and colors of diamonds. And, and they're not really diamonds, but, they, but they're very beautiful and sparkling. And they have, you know, different colors. And so what happens is there are you know, billions and trillions of this memory is going in, just like similar to how there's hundreds and hundreds of this little piece, and it creates a reality, it creates a picture that, that feels very true and feels very real. So we need to go with them and start changing some of these parts and pieces so your, your bigger picture also looks different and more aligned with who you are and where you are, and it's more true to who you truly are on a deep level. So let's go ahead and do some tapping, but once again, make sure that you learn how to change memories. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll make sure there's a link here below this video if you're watching it on YouTube or if you're reading on my blog where you can grab this video. It's, it's totally free, but it, it describes a very, very clear process on how to do this. And it's not hard, but it's a great skill to have. This is something that, that me and my boyfriend actually done yesterday. So something came up for him and we sat down, we took you know, 20, 30 minutes and we changed it. We changed it like that. It was a very strong trigger, something that genuinely bothered him. 
and we tested and we checked and it really wasn't there. And he was just in awe how something so big and heavy that bothered him for the longest time, it actually happened two years ago, could be changed in a matter of 20, 30 minutes. So again, I make sure that you have this video so you can grab it. Now, so, so think about crazy maker in your life. And again, it's a very general process, but it's good to kind of get started and get into the space to, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to make changes. And as you do so, just kind of close your eyes. And as you think about this person, notice how you know it bothers you. Is there a picture, a memory, is there a voice, is there something that they said, something that they do repeatedly that, that triggers you? And just start by setting an intention and giving yourself permission to release and clear it. And as you do it, just tap between your eyes to repeat after me. Say, I release and let go of all the struggles, all the patterns, all the ways it appears in my life, my life, my reality, my responsibility. Safe for me to change it. I may or may know how, but I'm making a decision to release and let go. The patterns of drama, constant struggle, crazy makers, trying to understand them, trying to make sense out of it, it just doesn't make sense. There are people there who are addicted to drama and they will create it anywhere they go. And I no longer believe in that play. I release this dance. I release this dynamic. There's something better for me. I forgive them. I send them peace. But I give myself permission to energetically change it for me. It is their story. They have problems. I have problems. And I'm letting go of mine. It's my time. It's safe for me to let it go. Just let it go. Very good. Grab your wrist. Just kind of pulse around and breathe in. And breathe out. And say word, peace. Beautiful. Great job, guys. So awesome to chat with you and to make this video for you. I'm going to sign off for now, but I'm looking forward to see you soon. I'll talk to you then. Till next week. Bye.